This is Shelley Kraft coming to you live on SNN Live. We're at the Sprott Stansbury Vancouver Natural Resource Symposium 2015. I have with me Chris Mayer, the Investment Director of Agora Financial. Chris, welcome to SNN Live. Hey, thank you, Shelley, for having me on. It's fantastic to have you. Let's get right into it. Give us an overview on uh, Agora. Yeah, Agora Financial is a large publisher of independent investment research. And we publish about a dozen different newsletters that cover all different sectors of the market. So I write uh, a couple myself, and one of them is called uh, Mayor's 100X Club. And uh, we're, we focus on looking for companies that compound value at a really high rate, such that they could return 100 to 1 over time. So you're beyond the 10-bagger now. You're going to 100 we're added bagger. to zero. Yeah, we're <laughs> really? Okay, let's get right into this. So let's start with what are you speaking on today? Well, I speak tomorrow, and I'm going to speak about um, this 100-bagger project. Uh, it's a six-month study I've done that looked at every stock that's returned 100 to 1 since 1962. And so, uh, you know, it's been interesting doing that study because there have been some common characteristics among these stocks. Uh, and that's what I'm going to talk about. I'm going to apply that to the natural resource sector. So let me ask you a question now. You, you know, you got me. So you, if you start out with a stock that's $10... Mm-hmm. A share, right? You're not you're not talking about stocks that are ten cents a share, are right? You? Yeah, that's one thing that's interesting about the study is that people might think that you have to start with you know something that's ten cents or fifty cents or really tiny, but a lot of stocks that began their run were substantial businesses. They had 150 million in sales, which was kind of a typical number. So you really you really don't have to do that, and 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 sometimes they don't take very long, and they can be all different kind of industries. So. Uh, you know, we had Monster Beverage was a 100-bagger in 10 years. Tractor Supply did it in 10 years. All kinds of industries. It's really interesting. So what do you like? We're, we're, I mean, you know, we have an audience out there that's a bunch of investors. Mm-hmm. So, you know, give us an idea of a future 10-bagger, if you would. Yeah, I mean, I, when I... You know, 100 I'm, bagger. I'm sorry. 100 bagger. You got to up the ante here, right? Well, we're at a natural resource conference, so I, uh, I can talk about some of the ideas there. I mean, one company that I like a lot is, is called Input Capital. Uh, it's about $2.30 today on the Vancouver Exchange. And they're really interesting. They do uh, streaming for canola. So everybody knows about the metal streamers like Silver Wheaton and Royal Gold. And what they do is they're applying that to canola. So they get a, a portion of canola farms um, tonnage and, and they buy it at a tremendous discount. And the stock is, has been beaten down with the, with the commodity sell-off of trades for uh, you know, 30% off its 52-week high, but it trades for seven times free cash flow. It's growing 25, 30% a year, and has a long runway. Just to give you a, a quick um, example, of that they have about 78 streaming contracts in place now, and there are 40,000 canola farmers in Western Canada. So tremendous upside. Wow. So what's your background? I started out in corporate banking. I was a corporate lender. And I did that for 10 years. I've always been passionate about investing and writing, so I freelanced on the side. And then finally, in 2004, I started my own newsletter. Uh, and it's been one of the best things that I've done. I've been able to travel all around the world, been in more than 30 different countries, and met all kinds of interesting people. So that's, that's what I've done. So if you're half right, you're still a genius. That's what I tell people. I say, hey, even if I don't get to the 100x, if you get five times your money, people are going to be just delighted, right? <laughs> So do you ever have an accident? Absolutely. You know, everyone, uh, you, you definitely make mistakes. And sometimes even if you do everything right, you can't, you know, predict the future. Things happen. Uh, and that's part of investing. So everybody has their losers. And the only thing you can do is that you, you try to limit those mistakes uh, as much as possible. And you get, when, you get a, when you get a good stock and you get a winner, you really got to let it ride and let it, let it roll. You know, you, you got to make those big numbers, and that covers the, covers the sins. So you become a believer, right? That's right. You become a believer. Yeah. So here's my next question. I ask geniuses like yourself all the time, if you could give me three things that you look at sure. when deciding what you're going to invest in, what are, in your opinion, what are the three key ingredients that you look for? Yeah, I say the most important thing is the people involved and and this is something i've learned the hard way over the years is that investing is really a people business so uh, the number one thing i look for is the people are in control of that business how much stock do they own like input capital for example the insiders own 20 percent of the stock 
and most of the stocks I recommend have heavy insider ownership. So these are people that are on your side, they're invested with you. Um, the second most important thing I like is you know, look at the underlying fundamentals of the business itself. Is it a good business? Does it, does it generate cash? Does it earn a return on its capital? So those are, those are two very important things. And then the third thing I would say is that, you know, I'm interested in, in stocks that have that long runway. And, and so you've got to have a market that you can expand in, something that you can imagine a company that can be a lot bigger in the future. Like I mentioned Input Capital. They have 78 streaming agreements in place. They have a market of 40,000. So you, you can imagine a company can be five times bigger, ten times the size it is today, it's, and it's not really a stretch. What to you is known as the aha moment when meeting with management? Yes, that's a really good question. I think, um, you know, what I, like to, what I like to see is that they're careful with their money. So uh, I remember... Um, I mean, if they don't want to pay for goods and services, yeah, or, they're, they're, or if they're, they don't want to sign a contract for too much yeah. money. Right, or they're, they're cheap about things like that. So when you, even when you go to a, a, their corporate office and you see you know, places that are relatively ordinary, right? I mean, it speaks to what their focus is. And if you go to someplace else and it's really ornate and they've got the best you know, technical equipment and they've got beautiful furniture and they drive great cars, you know, that's a different culture. You know, I have an opinion of you in this interview. For a young guy, you have old school thoughts and ways about you. Well, thank you. Yeah, I mean, I, I started as a banker, and I learned from, uh, I started with blue blood banks that, were, that catered to old family money, and so they had these really old-fashioned, grounded notions about how to do business and but what works. But yet they were simple. They were simple. That's really key. You know, I always tell people that the best investors are the ones who can reduce it down to the essentials, you know. A lot of people get lost in the weeds and they're worried about this quarterly earning report or they're worried about something that's going on in China and you know, they, people get really unfocused. Sidesteps. Sidesteps, sure. So ladies and gentlemen, let's get a website for more information of my favorite hundred bagger in the whole conference. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, let's get that website out there. Sure, the best place to go is to, to go to agorafinancial.com and there you can learn about uh, my newsletters and the other newsletters we produce, and there's also some free content there. So, Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Mayer, Investment Director at Agora Financial. I'm Shelley Kraft. This is SNN Live. We're at the Sprott Stansbury Vancouver Natural Resource Symposium 2015. Chris, thank thanks you, so much Thank for you. sharing your 100-bagger story with us. Thank you for having me on, Shelley. You're